In the next series of videos, we would like to show you how you can start uh, machine learning in Ignition. And in order to do so, I will guide you through one example that uses the Flask framework and the C Python external scripting from Ignition. So the overall solution architecture consists naturally uh, of an Ignition solution, because that is what we want to use to uh, call the machine learning uh, code external. Uh, the other part will be the machine learning uh, code or script, uh, which we will write in Python and interpret in the C Python interpreter. Uh, we already know that CPython interpreter is different from the Jython interpreter that is available within Ignition in its native Python scripting. And the CPython interpreter allows us to use uh, most of the libraries and frameworks that um, are used in the machine learning community and which are not available in Jython. In order to call the, these CPython scripts, we will use the Flask framework uh, by setting up a Flask server on our computer uh, through which we can transfer some messages to our CPython scripts and uh, vice versa, uh, return, uh, the, uh, the return the uh, responses that we need to Ignition. In order to do so, we will analyze one example uh, where we want to predict the heat demand for a local district heating company. Uh, this is an example that I presented in the 2021 edition of the ICC Inductive Automation uh, Conference. And uh, you can find the, the code and the whole solution on Ignition Exchange. So if you want to join in to install it and try it out for yourself, you are free to go there and uh, download it and try it. So let's get into Ignition, where I will just show you what the example uh, consists of. It is uh, developed in perspective. So I will just uh, start the perspective session and we can see uh, what our example uh, does in fact. So uh, in our example, as I already said, we want to predict the heat demand and uh, we want to predict it based on the date and time of the day and the outdoor temperature uh, in that moment. So the temperature is given in uh, Celsius for every hour. Uh, so we have a date, uh, data points given in every hour with the heat demand that we know uh, was required at that point. Uh, we also know the date. Uh, so we have uh, uh, 30 days from 2020, uh, starting from the 22nd November to the 21st uh, December. And uh, uh, based on these dates, we can also uh, know which day of the week it is, is it a weekend or not, which may also impact the heat demand that we have here. So in our solution, we will have uh, this uh, calculation uh, pop-up where we can start the flask and uh, call our functions, which I will show you in the next uh, videos. And uh, we have this uh, uh, trend uh, page where we can see the results from our uh, machine learning uh, predictions. We will get back to that in the future videos.